This question is asking us which element is oxidized and which is reduced in the following set of reactions. I'm going to pick a couple of them. Looking at this first example, in order to be able to determine what an, uh, thing is oxidized and what is reduced, we have to start by assigning every single element an oxidation number. We'll begin, of course, left to right. We've got magnesium. Magnesium all by itself, no charge. What is its oxidation number? Well, as I've outlined earlier, when you have that scenario, it is zero. Here I've got hydrogen stuck to water. Hydrogen's oxidation number takes three forms. In H2, that is hydrogen just bonded to other hydrogens, no charge, it's oxidation number zero. If you have hydrogen bonded to a non-metal, its oxidation number is almost always positive one. And if you have hydrogen bonded to a metal, its oxidation number is almost always negative one. Here I've got hydrogen bonded to oxygen. Oxygen is a non-metal. So hydrogen's oxidation number here is going to be positive one. Now, when I write the second um, line here, I've got written overall charge. I usually do that to kind of help myself with the bookkeeping. You'll notice that I've got hydrogen each having a plus one oxidation number. There are two hydrogens. So what's the overall charge, if you will, of those two hydrogens, of those two hydrogens combined? Yeah, it's two times plus one, which is plus two. So oxygen here must have a charge that balances out that negative or that positive two, which is going to be negative two. That also stands to reason that oxygen always has an oxidation number of negative two, or I should say almost always has an oxidation number of negative two when bonded to nonmetals other than additional atoms of oxygen. So those are my oxidation numbers for magnesium, hydrogen, and oxygen. Let's go to the right side of the equation and pick out the easy things. I've got hydrogen H2 bonded to itself, no charge. What's its oxidation number? Yeah, it's totally zero. So we'll go ahead and write that right there. That's pretty easy. Mm, now this magnesium might be a little bit of a mystery. I don't know. Let's see if we can pick out each of the elements here. I've got oxygen here, and I've got hydrogen here. Now oxygen there uh, has an oxidation number also of negative 2 because it's bonded to a hydrogen, bonded to a nonmetal. Hydrogen is also nonmetal and almost always has an oxidation number of plus, two, of plus 1. Sorry. <clears throat> now this stands to reason, by the way, if you've got a negative 2 on the oxygen plus 1 on, on that hydrogen, it, that sort of makes sense because I've had you memorize elsewhere that OH by itself is hydroxide. It's got a minus 1 charge. It's a polyatomic anion. The reason that makes sense is because this oxygen has a negative 2 charge and this hydrogen has a plus 1 charge. They have to add up to leave you behind the charge, uh, the overall charge for the thing, which is a negative one, which is indeed the overall charge for hydroxide. Hopefully you're cool with that. So I've got two hydroxides. Each of them overall has a negative one charge. So the overall charge for all of this jazz together is negative uh, one, but there, or sorry, is negative one per hydroxide, but there are two of them, so it's a negative two, which means that magnesium must have an overall charge that balances that out which means it must be plus 2, which is, because there's only one magnesium to give you a plus 2 charge, must be a plus 2 oxidation state. That also stands to reason because magnesium is in column 2 of the periodic table. It would want to have a plus 2 oxidation state. So, now what we, what we have to do is determine what has been oxidized, what has been reduced. What I do is I go from left to right and I ask myself the question, has anything had its oxidation number changed? Magnesium on the left has an oxidation number of zero. On the right, it has an oxidation number of plus two. So magnesium has been changed. You'll notice that I've got hydrogen here, oxidation number of plus one, and hydrogen over here is still plus one, but hydrogen over here, zero. So some of those hydrogens have indeed changed. Oxygen goes from an oxidation number of negative two to an oxidation number of negative two. So yeah, it's, oxygen stays the same. So these are the things that change I've got magnesium and hydrogen. So what has been oxidized, what has been reduced? Well, let's see. Magnesium goes from having a zero oxidation number to a plus two oxidation number. That means it's becoming more positive. How do you become more positive? By losing electrons. Remember, electrons have a negative charge. So if I lose electrons, I'm becoming more positive. So magnesium must have lost electrons. What is losing electrons? Losing electrons is oxidation. So magnesium has been oxidized. Now, which element has been reduced? Well, hydrogen goes from being plus one 
to being zero. So it's becoming less positive or, better said, more negative. How do you do that as an element? By receiving electrons. So it goes from being plus one to being zero. It's received electrons. If you're receiving or gaining electrons, what does that mean? It means reduction. So this hydrogen has been reduced.